So we listen to the first part of the legend, the first shield. The next one we will be listening to is the one with the dragon on it. Sorry, that's not actually me controlling it. My controller kind of went kind of crazy there. <laughs> I apologize. Ah, this is the shield of King Arthur and Dragon. He became king when he pulled the sword of Scalibur from a stone. Uther and Dragon, Arthur's father, was the previous owner of Excalibur. Before Uther died, he implanted the sword which he got from the Lady of the Lake into a stone, and said that whoever could remove it would be king. Of course, only his own magical bloodline could do so, and thus Arthur ruled over Britannia for many years. Sir Galahad was the son of Lancelot and became the knight of the round table. He saw a vision of angels guiding him to the Holy Grail. Thus, he was selected as one of the three knights who would go on a quest for it. When they found the final location of the Grail, Galahad was one of the few allowed to see it. This is the shield of Lancelot. Sir Lancelot was raised by Vivian, the Lady of the Lake. He was the epitome of chivalry and was always courteous, courageous, and kind. He became the first knight of the round table, but soon fell in love with Queen Guinevere. He slept with Guinevere behind Arthur's back, and when he did so, a broken shield that Vivian had given him became whole again. My dear Sophie, this the shield of Mordred. Mordred was King Arthur's son who was born of Arthur's half-sister Morgana. Arthur and Gawain were away from the kingdom. Mordred seized the throne and took his father's wife, Guinevere, as his own. In the final battle over the kingdom, Mordred fatally wounded Arthur, but was then defeated by Lancelot. One story states Lancelot executed Guinevere, believing she had taken part in the usurpation of the throne willingly, and entombed Mordred with her dead body, which he ate to stay alive until he eventually died of starvation. That's very, um, morbid. This is Percival's shield. Sir Percival was one of the first knights to see the grave. During his journeys, he came across the castle of the Fisher King, and the sky above it saw an image of the grail. Inside, he found that the Fisher King was quite ill and bedridden. While Percival knelt beside him, a great procession walked down the hall. At the end of the procession, a lady carried a chalice. But Percival failed to inquire about it, and the king was not healed as a result. Percival vowed to find the grail again someday became one of the three knights to embark on the final quest for the Holy Grail. I'm recording videos for YouTube. Now, if you guys remember... Hmm? Yeah, I need this one so I can put the videos on after. Okay, now if you guys remember... You guys remember um, the two people he needed were Percival and Galahad. Those stories also mention the two people with the grail, so... Percival well Hill. done. Now, what of the other knight? He looks rather plain without his shield. Percival's was with the red heart. And Galahad's is the one with the red cross. And these doors magically open after. Excellent, Miss Nabu. I trust the Arthurian legends are entertaining. Yes, I quite enjoyed your tales. Knights questing for the Holy Grail does make for an entertaining story. But I assure you that it is no mere cup. I know, sometimes it's a bowl. <laughs> oh, no, my dear. You see, as a grail historian, I'm often asked, where is the grail? It is rare that people ask me, what 
is the grail. Because everyone assumes that it is just an object. It is much more than that. Now that you know the question, why don't we see what answers we can find here? So after that, enter Galahad's room. Um, read the note from the bookcase directly to your right. I mean, wait, I think I went to the wrong room. Yeah, here's the note. So you want to look at Solomon's Song, verse 14, line 4, word 3. This is probably a passage from the Bible. After that, go all the way over to Percival's room. Hmm. And there is a Bible. Somewhere. Oh, down here. Right here, there's the Bible. Oh, my dove, in the house of rock, in the sacred place of the sleep pathway, let me see your form, let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet and your form is lovely. After this, it's actually a clue. After that, you want to go back to Galahan's room. Yes, there is a lot of running back and forth between these two rooms. I really did keep out that she can't run. There's a password here. <coughs> and the password is here. Remember, it says your vo and hear your voice. That was wrong. I apologize. The paper next to the terminal mentions Solomon's songs. I wonder what that is from. Like it said songs, so that must mean hearing, so the password is here. This is a new room. It's pretty much a music room. But a piano and two doors. The furthest door takes you back to the main hall, but going through this door, and look at that, that's a sign, there's the Venus Sphere. Okay, mm after that, go to the door, back to Galahad's room. And observe the chalices. There's red heart, the red dragon, the three lines, the sword, the red cross, and the black four. The one you want is the red dragon. So you want to go away to Percival's room. Again. And you guys will see what happened. And I will place it down, so see you soon.